Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea. I'm here to do your Love Truths reading and it will be for October 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your card and see what we have for you. Oh, we have toxicity, negativity, negative energy, manipulation, narcissist. See what else we get what else do we have for sagittarius please our lovely sagittarians remember these readings won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you we have karmic partner past life ties lessons let's get one more one more for sagittarius thank you one more for our lovely sagittarians thank you we have self-worth Struggling with self-worth, working on self. Okay. Let's pull an angel romance card and see what we have for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Oh my goodness. So Sagittarius, I've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I mean, this card always feels like very fiery energy. You know, come back to who you are. Feels like something's dampening the flames a little bit. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, for October 2021? Remember, Sagittarius, these readings won't resonate with everybody, so just tell you what resonates with you. We have Judgment, Nine of Wands, Sagittarian Energy, Two of Swords. Clarify these cards for Sagittarius, Love, Romance, Relationships. October 2021. Thank you. Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands. Fire energy again. Two of Swords. Eight of Wands. Sagittarian energy again. Bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Cups. And what's the overarching energy for Sagittarius, please? Overarching energy for Sagittarius. Thank you. Justice. Doing the right thing. Let's pull one more card with the Justice card. What does this Justice card mean, please? What is this Justice card for Sagittarius? Eight of Wands again. Forward movement. Doing the right thing, how you move forward. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands now. That's the happy home. There's something going on here though. Clarify this, uh, let's put this down. Clarify this nine of wands. Clarify this nine of wands. Clarify this nine of wands. Thank you, justice. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Clarify this too. Let's clarify judgment actually. Let's clarify judgment. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. The tower. The 
Tara in judgment can be a powerful awakening energy. Realization. Clarify this two of swords. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Sagittarius, something is, is going on here. I mean, you know, the tower in its own right. I, I definitely feel for some of you, there is some kind of awakening going on here in your own energy. Remember, the tower can be an internal tower as well uh, that prompts you to make some significant decision or choice. And journeying with judgment is karmic. It will stay with you for quite some time, if not permanently. But there's this feeling with uh, the tower, something significant has happened, an event or a truth or a revelation, some sudden change that's happened here that is prompting some significant choice. That could be in anything. Um, and requiring you to act. I mean, generally there's an energy of requiring you to act in some way. But I also have this feeling of somebody wanting to do the right thing, but not being sure what they want to do. We have the Ace of Cups, love, new beginnings or next level love in terms of love, romance, relationships, where the heart is open to some kind of new beginning. Now it can be with another person, it can also be an energy of self-love. There's this energy of what is my intuition telling me here. I find this Ace of Cups. It is a new beginning or next level energy. The Four of Pentacles, not giving. Guarding your heart in some way. Self preservation, self protection, guarded energy. Someone's protecting their heart. And there's an energy of, of needing to make some significant choice or decision because there's been some sudden change in this situation. Let's clarify the tower. Like The tower can be a number of things. It's essentially, I mean, we have the, the home here, the home here. So it certainly has to do with the home, family, relationships. But there is definitely some revelationary energy here. Something that has completely destabilized something, torn down of the old, the tearing down of the old. Sometimes it can be so the new can be rebuilt. I mean, sometimes this can be in terms of marriage as well, or, or greater commitment. I had a similar energy for Leo. It might well be for some of you that a decision or choice will mean tearing down of the old. Uh, and that's in terms of offering somebody next level love, next level energy. And there, there's certainly an energy here of, of needing to make some choice or decision on that basis. But somebody doesn't want to. I just feel this energy of somebody doesn't want to they're guarded about going to the next level. Get some more, more information about this tower, please. Thank you. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, this is a, a solid new beginning or next level energy. Moving home, relocating, manifesting some kind of new path. I mean, it can be very good in terms of money, career, finances too. But there's certainly an energy here of, of it could be some level of commitment or new offer or new commitment that somebody is really guarded about making. It might, you could be the receiver of this energy. You could be the person who feels this way. And this is an energy here of, of 
what do I do? Could be an important decision or choice here. How do I move forward? What's the right thing to do? That's what somebody's thinking. I, I feel this energy here of, of This new beginning will cause a tearing down of the old because it's to take something to the next level. But I also feel this awakening energy. This may be some kind of realization which will prompt you to make some choice. We have the Seven of Cups. I don't know what, to, what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do with regard to some kind of new beginning. You know, that the Ace of Wands is some, it's fire energy, it's your energy passion, desire, the potential of something new, something that is really exciting. There is attraction, there's chemistry, there's all sorts of beautiful energies with the Ace of Wands. Where is my heart and soul leading me? This is an energy of I'm, I'm holding back, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I want that. And it might well be that Nine of Wands is this energy because it can be um, a guarded energy, but it can also be someone has had some kind of difficult path to the point where, you know, a, a choice or decision to take a relationship to the next level is appearing. But it's almost like it's not been an easy process to get here. So I don't know whether I want this or not. Yeah, Two of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. This can be an energy of factors of independence or being comfortable in terms of the status of the relationship and how you don't want to make a choice or a decision because your happiest things are. You know, it feels that kind of energy of somebody still feels there's this kind of level of independence that's afforded to them and all these energies are certainly asking for some kind of contract or marriage contract in some way i feel somebody might want to get married here sagittarius or again it could be have children buy a home i mean call it what you will it feels very similar to leo's but it, there's definitely an energy of but i i like this level of of independence and it can be in this energy it can also be about do i want to be on my own i mean it feels in this energy more to do with i'm happy with the status of this you know sometimes that can be out of fear i mean the four of pentacles can be a fear energy because somebody is guarded doesn't want to make move forward because this would you know maybe put something in writing maybe have some kind of contract which creates complications should somebody decide to walk away or want to, want to move away from a relationship it's almost kind of like there's this escape hatch that's available in the nine of pentacles energy that would be lost if somebody takes this uh, this commitment to the next level but it also feels that the relationship you're questioning the relationship as well let's do the justice and the nine of wands let's have more information on that please Six of Wands. The sun came out more reversed than upright. The the six of of Six of Wands is overcoming challenge, putting it behind you. I mean, whether this is overcoming some kind of reservation here, Sagittarius. I mean, I'm definitely getting this doubt energy. I mean, this can be an energy of, of it can sometimes be an energy of, of 
feeling down, overcoming a situation that's making you feel down. But I'm also getting in this energy that inner sun, that inner illumination in terms of how you overcome this, needing to find some kind of illumination in terms of what is making you, how to overcome the restrictive energy, what is actually stopping you from going for this. Clarify the Four of Wands. <laughs> Someone really wants this commitment. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. The Empress is very similar to Leo's energy. This is the birth of something new, but you could be dealing with an Empress, Divine Feminine or Female energy. I mean, again, the, the, the Empress can be the birth of something new or next level energy. So a new level of abundance, pregnancy, home, marriage, call it what you will. I just feel someone's like, I don't know, I'm guarded. I like this level of status. I like the status quo where I am right now. I'm not ready for this. Just feel someone's not ready. And it might well be because there are certain questions that you need to understand. You need to, there's some clarity that's needed because someone's not ready to make a choice right now to make the decision. It could be this toxicity energy that is around this reading. We have free yourself and passion. I mean, free yourself can be a number of things. It could be from your own inhibitions. It can also be about, are you questioning this relationship? So when someone's asking for further commitment, is this something that you really want? You know, would I be happier on my own? I like the status quo of this relationship. Clarify the Ten of Cups, which is a happy ever after energy. It is... You know, the white picket fence, the beautiful home, you know, two people who mirror each other perfectly. Clarify this Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. It can represent... It can represent marriage, long-term commitment, family, or having one. Yeah, we have the Two of Wands, choices about the future. Which way do I go? The realisation that comes with the Ace of Swords, another Ace, a powerful new chapter. I think all the Aces are here now. Uh, it just feels like a significant new beginning, new chapter energy, the full energy almost. I mean, this is an energy of some kind of epiphany or realisation, awakening energy. Seeing things for what they are, not how you want them to be. Clarity on some kind of choice, and we have the world card. Can be an energy of moving to the next level of a relationship or completion, stepping through a new door. That Ace of Swords can come down and cut cords, or it can give you the illumination, the clarity that you need to make some kind of significant decision or choice in this matter. I feel that there are reservations here, Sagittarius, I do. But I think it's going to become clear in terms of what those reservations are. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius, thank you. Final message for Sagittarius. I think one's turned over. Yeah, we have signs. So the universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. But there's definitely an energy here of a choice needs to be made because with the two justice cards and the judgment card here, there's certainly an energy here of from now on in, Whatever choice is made, whatever decision is made, will determine the outcome. And I kind of feel that you'll, you'll know that either way. 
whether it's taking a relationship to the next level, yeah, let's get married, let's go for this, or I'm going my own way. Could bring an ending. Okay. Any other message for Sagittarius? Any other message for Sagittarius? Transcendence. Interesting word. Transcend your mind's limitations. <laughs> There's limitations here. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Yeah, I, I feel that there is certainly an energy here, Sagittarius, of you've got either reservations, and it could be from some concrete reason. It could be from past experience that is stopping you and being guarded on moving forward. There is was this feeling of, for some of you, it could be the person that you're with. You're wondering, if, is this my forever person? Choices about the future unfold there. For others of you, I was definitely getting this, but I like things status quo because there's an escape hatch here. You know, if things don't work out. We don't have to go through all the legal ramifications of breaking up, you know, and I like that safety net. So it, for some of you, it just might be that you're just not ready. I certainly feel that there is somebody who you're with. Could be, this could be you again. This could be the other person that you're dealing with, but somebody who you're with who is ready I want to move forward to the next level. And it's getting to that point where some decision needs to be made. It's very similar to Leo's reading. Not quite the same, but it has some nuances that are quite similar. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.